okay. It's just easy to stop. I mean, fast food. Breakfast. Ooh. Burger King. For sandwich with bacon. That's what I had for breakfast. Uh, let me see. I even took a picture of what I had for dinner last night. Just so I could show you. Because we were playing pool. And I didn't. I went from back to school night straight to pool. So um, I had. Oh, can you see that? Oh, yeah. Some yummy. Oh, it's not really good. That would be a plate full of nachos. Mm, cheese and chips. Really? Yeah, that's what I had. Cheese and chips. So, um, yeah, I think the biggest factor that prevents me from losing weight is myself. Uh, I, my wish list, uh, I love because I, the very first thing that I have on my wish list is, where is it? Let me find it because I even wrote it down. Um, would be, um, the very first thing is to help others lose weight. I, I want to help other people lose weight. I really want to inspire people. I want them to see my message and go, yes. Um, wear shorts is the second one. I have not put on a pair of shorts. I would probably say, say probably 10 years I haven't put on a pair of shorts. I don't like my legs. I don't like the way my legs look. I refuse to wear shorts in public. I don't even wear them at home. Um, to re-enroll in dance classes because I get, I, I'm very embarrassed by my size, even though I can dance, I don't want to go into a dance class um, overweight and not be able to do things because that's more embarrassing to me than anything. I take into consideration. Um, I have auditioned for a musical in New York uh, because that's always just been my dream anyway. But I think that it holds me back because for big girls, let's be honest, how many roles are there in theater, in musical theater, for big girls. I can name one right off the top of my head. Oh, Tracy and Hairspray. It's about a big girl. But they don't, people don't look at you and take you seriously when you're this size. There's nothing for you in musical theater. Uh, so that was one of my big ones. And the last one was to go shopping. Um, I love purse shopping. I love shoe shopping. But that's the only kind of shopping I like to do. I don't like to go try on clothes because I don't like the way that I look in them. Go shopping would be like really big on my, if I could just feel comfortable going shopping, I would be so ecstatic. Uh, so that would be my wish list. Oh, oh. Okay, um, right now I am on my way to pick up my mom from the hospital. Um, she's been in the hospital this week because she was diagnosed with diverticulitis. Um, which of course is an inflammation of the colon and an infection. Um, and the thing is, I'm going to have her do a little talking in her nightgown, her hospital gown. So she's probably not going to be too happy about that, but whatever. Um, my mom is overweight as well. And, oops, that's probably why I shouldn't record and drive. <laughs> um, but I don't know how many... We've done Weight Watchers together. We've done Curves together. We were looking at the 17-day diet and the Ducan diet. Um, and this was a real turning point for her because she knew, she now knows that she has to be healthy. She has to start changing her lifestyle because it's put her in the hospital. Um, so I'm gonna go in and uh, hopefully they'll be discharging her soon and uh, let her talk to you a little bit. Look, there's my mom's room. Well. Madre! Oh, she is in the bathroom. What, to take a shower? Oh, she is taking a shower right now. We will interview her in a minute. In a moment. Hi, this is my mom. Hi, Mom. Look, here's the camera right here. Okay. So talking to the camera, she's going to say lots of good things about me. <laughs> and I'm going to go to the bathroom. Break. Hold on. <clears throat> the day Laura was born and they put her in my arms, as all mothers feel, I knew that she was going to be a special gift to me and a special child. And as she grew up, she proved that... Um, I truly think that Laura deserves an opportunity to um, participate in this project because 
from her freshman year on, Laura has fought her way constantly. She was told by, I was asked by her dance line uh, instructor, which, because Laura is an awesome dancer, one of her many talents, um, which would be worse for her if she made the dance line and had to sit on the bench every performance because she couldn't make weight or not to make it at all. So Laura and I had a long discussion and she decided that she didn't need that neg negativity around her so we didn't do dance line at all. Um, that's just a, a mere example of things that she's gone through because of her weight issue. Laura is also always a very awesome, upbeat, happy girl. Anytime I have seen her uh, start a weight process, she's always gone after it with a vengeance. She's done everything she needed to do. I've seen her lose the weight and then something emotional comes along and and um, knocks her back down and the, and the diet goes away. Um, I think this is a chance she really needs to be afforded or to learn on her own. Um, I want her to have the opportunity to have the proper tools to be able to uh, learn an exercise program, a good eating plan, and everything else that goes with it because I know Laura can do it. She's one determined young lady. Um, she brings sunshine wherever she goes. When she walks in a room, she lights up the whole room. I've seen her be able to talk to people who are in sad situations, upsetting situations, and talk from from 10 years old up to 90 year olds and be able to be so positive with them that it brings them back around. And I think that this would be um, something that you could do for Laura. And I just sincerely, sincerely with all my heart hope that she is the one, one of the ones that you select for this program because she certainly deserves it. She certainly needs to do it and I want grandbabies someday. I think the big reveal for me will be um, not, I mean, yeah, to myself, but I think to everybody else, it'll be like, hey, Laura is serious because I'm kind of a jokester, but she's serious for once. And she is revealing to everybody how serious she can take something. And I mean, of course, and then there's, of course, a physical big reveal. I mean, how awesome would that be to walk out and just say, hey, I did it and I plan on doing it. Um, and I also think that the revolution for me would be the, cha the life changing experience. It's not like, oh, it's so life changing. Oh, it was wonderful. No, it will be an experience that will change my life for good, for good. I think that if I am given the tools, this revolution that I go through will be a complete 180, 360, whatever you want to call it, a complete turnaround. And it will allow me to take what, to take the time to better myself. So I think the revolution is, is the most important. It'll go, it'll allow me just to be a better me. I know I can't be serious. Sometimes, sometimes I can. Ah. I just want to take the time to thank you for viewing my video. Um, I'm sorry it's so long. You could probably edit about five minutes of ums, so's, yeah, likes, ugh, the interjections. Uh, so thank you so much, and I hope you guys have a great week. <laughs>